the remarkable gardens of France is intended to be a list and description, by region, of the more than 300 gardens classified as Jardins Remarquables by the French Ministry of Culture and the Comité des Parcs et Jardins de France. The complete list of gardens can be found on site of the Comité des Parcs et Jardins, Gardens of Alsace. Bar Rhine Brumath Jardin de la Escalia, small private modern romantic floral garden, Kindzheim, the park of ruins of the Chateau de Kindzheim, an early 19th century romantic landscape garden, Kolbsheim, the garden of the Chateau de Kolbsheim, French garden and English landscape park, Otrot, the Domaine de Windeck, romantic landscape park, with views of the ruined castle of Otrot. Plosheim, Le Jardin de Marguerite, small private English, secret, garden in the Alsatian village of Plosheim, Savon, Jardin Botanique du Col de Savon, botanical garden in an enclave in the Vosges forest, Strasbourg, Jardin Botanique de l'Université de Strasbourg, founded in 1619, the second oldest botanical garden in France. Uttenhafen, Jardin de la Ferme Bleu, modern garden on the site of a 17th century farm, Orin Gebwiller, Parc de la Marseillaise, public arboretum in botanical garden, designed by Edouard André between 1897 and 1899, Hisserine Wesseling, Parc de Wesseling private garden at the site of a hunting lodge of the Prince Abbey of Merbach. Formal French garden, flower garden, kitchen garden, field garden and contemporary garden. Mulhouse, Parc Zoologique et Botanique de Mulhouse. Public botanical gardens and zoo. English landscape park. Riedersheim, Park Alfred Wallach. Created in 1935 by Paris landscape architect Achille Duchin. Stairways connecting the different parts of the garden and tree shaded alles. Gardens of Aquitaine, Dordogne Dom, Park and Boxwood Garden of the Chateau de Cordon, a garden a la Française and French landscape garden, created between 1808 and 1814 by the Marquis Jacques de Malville, one of the authors of the French Civil Code. See pictures. Imet, Park and Kitchen Garden of Powdert, a small 18th century chateau in the valley of the Dropped River features an avenue of cedar planted in 1860, Cyclamen, Crocus and Jonquil in season, and a garden of vegetables and flowers grouped by color, Oatfort, Gardens of the Chateau de Oatfort. The chateau was reconstructed in the 17th century and embellished with a garden à la Française. In 1853, the gardens were redone by the celebrated landscape architect the Count of Chulot, and the chateau, gardens and landscape were unified, with geometric flower gardens, topiary gardens imitating the domes of the chateau, and a long tunnel of greenery. Next to the formal gardens is a hill with an Italian garden with winding shaded paths. Notable trees in the park include the Magnolia Grande Flora and a cedar of Lebanon, Le Bousson de Caduan, Garden of Plan Bisson. The garden presents 264 different types of bamboo, from dwarf bamboo to giant, as well as exotic trees, such as Paulonia Fortunae. The garden is particularly attractive at the end of summer, autumn and winter. St. Cybernet, Gardens of Alberidi, an unusual modern garden, created by landscape architect Serge Lapage. The garden features 1,000 species adapted to the dry and rigorous climate and poor soil of the region. It presents fruit trees, aromatic plants, a topiary garden, old types of vegetables and roses as well as examples of the rural architecture of the Perigord region. Saint-Germain-de-Belves, Garden of Conti, a French hilltop garden in Perigord, inspired by the gardens of Tuscany. The garden features cypress trees from Italy, chestnut, plane trees, walnut and oak, a wide variety of fruit trees, and a medieval kitchen garden. Manor de Rignac in Salignac Ivex, a garden à la Française and French landscape garden from the 18th century, recreated in the 20th century. 
consists around a 17th-century manor house on a hill, with water coming from seven springs. Thonic Gardens of the Chateau de Los the pleasure garden of a Renaissance chateau next to the Vezira River, with gardens atop the walls overlooking the river, a tunnel of vines, a fine rose garden, a courtyard with squares planted with lavender, edged with rosemary, and guarded by cypress trees. Vezac Gardens of Marquisic Built in the 17th century by Bertrand Vanet, counselor to the king, the original garden was created by a pupil of André Lenotra, and featured gardens, terraces, and a kitchen garden surrounding the chateau. A grand promenade 100 meters long was added at the end of the 18th century. Beginning in 1866, the new owner, Julian de Serval, who was inspired by Italian gardens, built rustic structures, redesigned the parterres, laid out five kilometers of walks, and planted pines and cypress trees. Terrace and Laval Dew, Gardens of the Imagination. This contemporary garden, a public park of the town of Terrasson, was designed in 1996 by landscape architect Catherine Gustafson to present 13 tableaus of the myths and legends of the history of gardens. It uses simple natural elements, trees, flowers, water and stone to suggest the passage of mankind from nature to agriculture to the city. It uses a symbolic sacred wood, a rose garden, topiary art, and fountains to tell the story. Velines Gardens of Sardi, a small garden from the 1950s built around a country house, with a shaded terrace for tea, and intimate landscapes and views inspired by English and Italian gardens. Isaac, Gardens of the Chateau de Montreal. The chateau was built in 1535, in the Renaissance style, on the site of a fortress dating to the 13th and 14th centuries. The gardens were built upon the ramparts of the fortress at the beginning of the 20th century by Achille Duchin. The lower garden is in the Italian style, and features hibiscus and yew trees, and walls covered with white roses and white clematis. The upper garden is a jardin à la française, with ornamental flower beds and a topiary garden. The garden was badly damaged by a storm in 1999, and has been replanted. Herval Gardens of La Berlia, originating as the gardens of the chateau of a noble family of Perigord in the 14th century. The original 17th century gardens featured a kitchen garden and an early French ornamental garden surrounded by a wall. Later, in the 18th century, a grand axis between the village and the woods was created, along with an alley of linden trees, and a topiary alley of yew trees. In the 19th century a French landscape garden was added, with coniferous trees and varied plants. The chateau also has fine collection of old roses and fruit trees. Gironde Cusick Fort Emile Acute D.O.C. Park of the Chateau La Nesson. The garden is surrounded by the vineyards of the chateau in the Emile Acute D.O.C. wine region of Bordeaux. The chateau and gardens were built in 1878 by the architect Dufote. The gardens are in the English style, with avenues, lawns, and cedar, cypress and plane trees. Portets, Gardens of the Chateau de Mong Ernan. The chateau was built in 1736 and the botanical gardens created in 1741 by the Baron de Gasque. Inspired by his friend and music teacher Jean-Jacques Rousseau and the theories of the botanist Linnaeus, who believed that all plants were valuable, whether they were ornamental, medicinal, wild, or for food, the garden was made to resemble the ideal pre-romantic garden Rousseau described in La Nouvelle Eloise, full of aromas and colors. The current garden is kept as it was in the 18th century, with vegetables of the era, local varieties of fruit trees, 18th century varieties of roses, asters, irises, dahlias, aromatic plants, and plants used to make perfume. The tuberoses and jasmine fill the gardens with their aromas. Premiac Gardens of the Chateau de Mal. These gardens, adjoining a chateau famous for its Sauterne wines, were designed between 1717 and 1724 by Alexandre Eutrope de Lure Salouces, and are considered among the finest gardens of the French classical age. 
They were inspired by the gardens that he saw in Florence during his grand tour of Italy and his time spent at the court in Versailles. The park has a wide central axis and two terraces, with groups of statues and vases. The statues were done by Italian artists brought there for that purpose in the early part of the 18th century, and represent figures from Greek mythology. Cephalus, Aurora, Cupid, Aphrodite, Adonis, and Flora, the goddess of flowers and gardens. Other statues represent winemaking, the joys of the hunt and fishing, wine and intoxication. To the east of the first terrace is a small theatre, decorated with figures from the Italian Commedia dell'Arte. Pantalone, Scaramouche and Harlequin. A stairway leads to a second terrace decorated with statues symbolizing of earth, wind, air and fire. Vers, Gardens of the Chateau de Vers. The chateau was built on a mound on the edge of the Dordogne River in the 15th century, then rebuilt in the Renaissance when it was given by King Henry IV to the Gourgs family. It was rebuilt one more time at the end of the 17th century. The gardens were rebuilt in 1938 by the landscape architect Ferdinand Duprit. A monumental stairway leads from the chateau across the old moat to the French gardens by the river, where there are parterres bordered with hedges of yew and boxwood trees clipped into cone shapes. There is also a flower garden of medieval inspiration and an English-style park with cedar, oak, linden, hornbeam and copper beech trees. Landsdax, Park of Sarat. The park, formerly the home and garden of architect René Guichemet, was created by him from the 1950s until his death in 1988. It contains his modern house. Inspired by the architects Richard Neutra and Frank Lloyd Wright, an impressive valley of plane trees, a French garden with fountain and cascade, an extensive kitchen garden, and a botanical garden with 320 kinds of trees, many of them rare. Lot A Garon Le Temple sur Lot, the gardens of Little Marliac, created in 1870 by Joseph Bory Little Marliac are devoted entirely to different species of aquatic plants, particularly the water lily. The gardens feature a grotto, a cascade, thermal springs, a wide variety of tropical vegetation, and the oldest nursery for aquatic plants in the world. In 1894, the gardens of Little Marliac furnished the water lilies for the garden of Claude Monet in Giverny. Pyrenees Atlantiques Camboles Bains Gardens of the Villa Anaga. These gardens were created beginning in 1903 by the French playwright Edmond Rostand, the author of Serrano de Bergerac, next to his home, which is now the Edmond Rostand Museum. The house, in the Basque style, looks out at the Pyrenees. To the east of the house is a formal geometric French garden, with fountains, statues, three basins, a topiary garden, an orangery, a belvedere a pergola, and a poet's corner. The garden has colorful annual displays of rhododendrons and azaleas. Around the French garden is a wooded English landscape garden, with clusters of oak, maple, chestnut, walnut, linden, and fir trees. The park descends to banks of the river Araga, where there is a picturesque water mill. Momas, Garden of the Chateau de Momas. The chateau is surrounded by gardens inspired by medieval gardens, with sculptures, fountains, a kitchen garden and an aromatic garden, old varieties of fruits and vegetables, and 200-year-old oak and fig trees. Vivan, Gardens of the Chateau de Vivan. The chateau was first mentioned in the 11th century. It was completely rebuilt in the 18th century. The gardens were redesigned after the original plan in 1988. The French garden features a colorful mosaic of 2,500 begonias and more than a thousand roses, adorned with hedges and topiary gardens, a fountain and a pavilion. There are annual displays of camellias, azaleas, rhododendrons, hydrangeas, and bougainvilleas. Gardens of the Auvergne, Allia Vaux sur Allia, the Arboretum de Balain is the oldest private botanical garden in France. 
It was begun in 1804, but largely was the creation of AGLA Acuted Danson, the daughter of French naturalist Michel Adanson, who was responsible for the Petit Trianon Botanical Garden of Louis XV. She settled there in 1812, at the age of 30, and established it as one of the earliest acclimatization gardens in France designed to accustom exotic plants from France's colonies to the climate of France. The garden features a romantic promenade around a pond, and more than 2,500 specimens of trees and plants, including a giant sequoia tree from California 6.5 meters in diameter, a bald cypress 35 meters high, and a Spanish fir planted before 1850. In spring, the garden has colorful displays of camellias, rhododendrons, magnolias, dove tree, viburnum, and dogwoods. In the fall the garden is noted for its irises, old varieties of roses, and hydrangeas. Puy de Domissoir, the gardens of the Chateau d'Autorive were originally part of the domain of the Abbey of Issoir, founded in the 10th century. The present buildings date to the late 17th century. Documents and old watercolors show that the gardens existed in 1680 to 1691, with much the same plan as today. The gardens are a classical composition of lawns, avenues, eight parterres around a central basin, hedges, and small groves of trees. Flowers include peonies, irises, lilies, delphiniums, sage, lupins, and dahlias. The gardens were badly damaged in the storm of December 1999, when 500 to 700 trees were uprooted or broken. The gardens are being restored. The Chateau de Cordes in Orcival, a 15th-century chateau with a recreated garden à la Française at an altitude of 900 meters in the massif of Mont Doré. Romagnet, Gardens of the Chateau d'Opme. The chateau was first built in the 11th century, and belonged to the Counts and then the Dauphins of Auvergne. It was rebuilt in the 17th century by Antoine de Ribaya, treasurer to the king. The garden dates to 1617. The garden has two parts, a classical garden in the French style, with a circular basin, fountain, and lawns and tree-shaded alleys, and a lower Renaissance garden with fruit trees, flower beds and vegetable gardens laid out in geometric designs. The two parts of the garden are connected by an unusual stone stairway with two revolutions. The fountain with two basins dates to 1617, and is attributed to Andro Adusa so.